So this is part uh, 126-4-54, part A, that we're looking at right here. Some numbers that we need to know. Uh, it's metric, and there's 150 millimeters between those two circles. Uh, since they're symmetric off that center point, we'll worry about that in a minute. Um, there's a radius of 64 here, a diameter of 54 through the middle. The radius on the end there is 44, and the diameter of those two holes is, is 24. Um, notice right here that there's a tangent that goes straight off of here, straight across to where it touches there and there. And we're going to use several different commands to get that done. All right, so when we go into AutoCAD, we start a new drawing. And I'm just going to start by picking a point, and I'm going to start with that diameter that was in the middle. So I do center diameter and pick a point here and say 54. That should go somewhat off the page. So I'm going to double click the mouse wheel to zoom the extents. I'll do another circle right off the bat, center radius, and I'm going to get close to that circle. And it gives me the O snap setting right in the center there, but I get close to the circle, click it, and I'm going to use the same center point uh, from the original circle, and that radius is 64. Double click the mouse wheel again. Then we're going to go and we're going to make the two smaller circles with the diameter. So I'm going to do center diameter and put one right here in the middle. That center diameter is 24, uh, and I'm going to move that one to the right, hit F8 to turn the ortho on, and going to make that one 75, and then I will copy the uh, this one the other direction, 150, puts them both in the same spot. The We'll use those uh, center points of those to do a center radius circle right here, and that radius is 44. Do a, uh, I can copy that again from here copy that using that center point there go to this center point it's there then we'll go across up here we're going to click on line going to do shift right click and we're going to go to the quadrant point of that circle so that's the quadrant there shift right click quadrant here we're good hit escape click line do shift right click we're going to start on this quadrant point right here shift right click to the quadrant point over here we're good there so now we're going to go up here and click on trim and we can use this as a cutting edge if we want to. Um, and click that, that, this, and this. You also don't have to use cutting edges. You can just click trim, right click immediately, and just click that. And it kind of works its way out there. So right click and enter. Double click the mouse wheel so it zooms the, the extents. And we're good. Save. So you're going to save it in your, uh, doc, in your documents as 126-4-54. And that's part A. And um, we'll save that. And then what we'll do is we're going to go up to the plot. We're going to go to print. We're going to print that out. And we're going to change that to DWG to PDF. Um, make sure you zoom the extents there. Center the plot. Click the preview. Should look just like that. Right click and plot. And save that. So that's what you should be submitting in Blackboard when you take a test.